everybody. Well, I've been tagged. I've been tagged by uh, by Urban Outdoors. That's Urban's channel. Well, you already knew that, didn't you? Okay, so I'll, I'll put a link to Urban's channel in the description. And uh, yeah, he's a great guy, great channel, good content. To light the fire, I used the ferrule rod given to me by uh, Simon Outdoors. It's a monster, it's a beast. It normally lights a fire much quicker than that. <laughs> and uh, the knife given to me by Joao Carmo when I was in Portugal. So this is made by uh, Martins. So uh, I'll do a little review of that at some point. Okay, I've got the burner actually resting on a couple of old rotten logs so uh, so it doesn't sink into the snow so we've had a lot of snow here in Lapland this winter the depth is uh, round about a meter this fire now so I've brought some water with me I've actually got chaga tea so I don't want to use all of this for making coffee it's not really very strong chaga tea looking at it So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a little bit of that in my coffee, then I'm going to top it up with snow. So it's a lot easier, can you still see me? No! <laughs> it's a lot easier to melt snow when you've already got water. And as if you haven't, just melt it a little bit at a time. Okay, so that's going to take a while to boil and a while for the snow to melt. Once the snow I've got in there melts, I'll put some more in. Oh, thinking about it, I better put the lid on that, aren't I? So I thought I'd show you where I, where I am. So Heta and the Husky Farms over that way. And... Uh, the road is a couple of miles that way and that way is Norway <laughs> there's nothing much that way so we've got the national park the other side of the road uh, there's actually uh, a fad of children an area 
somewhere close I could probably have got quite a near, nice view of the fells but uh, well this view is good enough for me okay so you can see where I've uh, compacted the snow a little bit to try and give a little bit of shelter it's uh, it's really wind blown round here so uh, so the snow's actually quite hard uh, I should have brought a snow shovel so that's a important thing round here always have a snow shovel when do you need a snow shovel well whenever you haven't got one <laughs> bring a snow shovel with you and you'll never ever need it I guarantee it you know what, it's actually boiling. It took a long time. Oi. Yeah, so the wind is uh, just sucking all of the heat that's right out of the pot. A lot of heat coming out of that little gasifying stove, but uh, it's, all, uh, it's all being carried away by the wind. Got enough in there for a couple of coffees. So what coffee am I using? Sheep and nasty instant coffee. I'm sorry, nothing exotic. <laughs> uh, I might do a video on tea actually at some point on uh, uh, a few different herbal teas. Everybody knows about pine needle tea, don't they? Everybody knows about shaga tea, but there's a there's a few different ones. With this tiny culture, I think I've got enough for about. <laughs> About 15 coffees. I'll leave that one there. Keep it warm. What's left of the heat from out of there? That's there. Who needs a spoon when you've got a CC pork up? New knife for the book. Review coming as soon as I've uh, used it a little bit. Who should I tag? Well, uh, I think seeing as I was using tools given to me by them, I should tag Simon Outdoors and Joao Carmo. Uh, and uh, yeah, both uh, both great channels. Uh, Joao's is uh, in Portuguese, so if you speak Portuguese, definitely check that one out. So, thanks for watching, everyone. Right, so I'm going to have another coffee. I'm going to put the rest back in my Nalgene bottle. 